and welcome to Halloween! <laughs> so today I am doing a, a Halloween, my first Halloween tutorial of the year on this vampire princess or a queen. Look, I got blood shattered, smoky eyes, got a, a droplet of blood on the corner of my mouth and I got this bloody choker necklace situation going on. I feel very... Vampy. So today is the start of Halloween, and in Halloween we have a bunch, like so many Halloween tutorials coming up. And if if I'm in the mood, and if I can make the time, I might even go a little bit further than a week. So who knows? <laughs> so today is day number one, and today I was inspired by Juliana on Instagram, and I had the honor, the pleasure of filming with Juliana for my makeup like this series with Maybelline back in New York, and that video actually went up yesterday. So if you want to see that click somewhere in the screen and I saw her do a blood shattered eye and it really inspired me to take inspiration from that and create a smoky look on it plus I was inspired by a couple more friends of mine who I'll talk about in the video later on but I am so excited that we are here today we're gonna have so much fun this week this look is definitely more on the glam slash sexy side I definitely want to show you a wide variety of looks this week so um yeah if you are in the mood to be sexy and glam for Halloween but yet still a little bit freaky then keep on watching all right so the first thing I'm gonna do for this look that I do not know the name of yet is is go in with a primer. This is my J1 Jelly Pack, and I, ever since I bought this, it's been a favorite and I can't put it down. This will make my makeup last all day. So especially during Halloween, you wanna be scary all night, like all night. For foundation today, I'm gonna be mixing as always. I'm gonna be going in with my all-time favorite Lancome Ta Idol Ultra Wear and a new launch right here. This is by Jouer. This is called the Essential High Coverage Cream Foundation. Now this packs a punch. This has so much coverage and you only need the tiniest bit. And I really like mixing it in with other foundations to really get it there and to give it that longevity. This one lasts forever and it launched today it it is available right now so they come with a bunch of shades i know they're coming out with 10 more shades really really soon but um this combo is gonna be it today and we're covered <laughs> now this look overall is pretty intense glam wise it's not as scary as some might want it to, but I definitely wanted to make a good mix of wearable glam, scary, frightening. I wanted to mix it all this Halloween. So we're starting off with something a little bit more glam, of course, inspired by Juliana. And that's why for this look, I am following my natural skin tone. Can you go lighter? Absolutely. Um, but I'm not going to today because I want to keep the overall look a little bit more wearable and glam as far as those words apply to my channel, which is not very. Seriously, how full coverage is this mixture right here? I love. And because the Jouer foundation is a little bit more matte and satiny, it lasts so much longer. Mm, I love full glam so much. For concealer, I'm just gonna start buffing in a bunch of random randomness because I've stepped away from the Tarte Shape Tape because I found it to be too dry for my skin. My under eyes looked cracky and just not, not in a good way. So it was time for me to say goodbye and move on with my life. And so I am trying out a bunch of stuff to see if anything will give me the pleasure of shape tape. And yes, I'm talking about shape tape. <laughs> hmm, this could be a Halloween look in and of itself. Setting my under eyes using the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder in number five. Now, like I said, this is full coverage Halloween scary glam. So I'm now gonna set my face using some Cody Air Spun and my damp sponge. I really press it in there. And if you're looking for a trick to make your base last all day long, Grab a damp sponge like this one and apply your face powder with it like that. This will bake your face in such a flawless way. It gets rid of the appearance of pores. It's just, it's everything you want. 
on the lid first i'm going in with this nyx lid lingerie matte in the color white it doesn't have a color. Does it have a color? Bat to the bone. And I'm applying this to get some whiteness going to make all the blood pop. So apply it straight to the lid and then go in with the brush and blend out. Now going into taco eyeshadow by Sugar Peel to set the lid with a whole lot of white. Going into this Mayron Paradise palette and taking this red color right here called Red. Picking that up on a little texture sponge like this. Now, if you're like, what, what, what is that? I think we've all seen these very texturized sponges for Halloween, and I just cut a little corner out of it to match my eye, but this is basically what we'll be using for the blood spatter. With a tiny bit of the face paint on that sponge, I'm gonna stipple the blood onto my lid and kind of work it out gradually, like a smoky eye. See how it almost has the shape and intensity of a smoky eye where it's more intense here and then it kind of splatters out. That's what you want, baby. Now with this Makeup Forever Aqua Liner in the color 10, I am going to create a wing. After applying that wing, you want to set it and make it a little bit darker using this Ogs Blood Red color from the Juvia's Place Saharan 2 palette. Now you can totally leave it as is, but I want it to be a smoky blood spattered eye. So I really want the blood to be part of the smoky eye. So I'm going in with black shadow and really diffusing the outer corners. and diffusing it even more using that red color from the Saharan 2 palette. And now we're gonna focus on the lower lash line. <laughs> okay, so Basically, I'm gonna take this color right here, so it's a mixture of that red color and the black, and put it on the outer corners of my lower lash line. With this Marc Jacobs pencil in fine wine, I'm going to extend my inner corner. And a little bit of pink of me on the waterline. To finish, all you'll need is some lashes, and these are the Flutter Lashes in Intoxicating. All right, eyes are done, and I must say I am living. It is a classic blown out cat smoky eye, but with blood. So now I'm gonna bronze using, I'm not even gonna talk about that. Adding some bronze because we're not a ghost. <laughs> I look like a ghost right now, but we're not a ghost. We're going for glam. Some additional contouring. For blush, I wanna go for something nice and pink. This is the Sigma Lady Slipper Aura Powder. You know what, let's carve out that cheek a little bit while we're at it. And for highlighter, I also wanna go a little bit more on the pinky side, so I have this BH Black Light Highlight 6 color palette and I'm going to be highlighting with the pink right here called On Point and highlighting the highest point using Strobe, the white.
Then for lips, I'm gonna go in with this Colored Rain Liquid Lipstick in the color Swerve. And then to tie the entire look together, I saw my good friend Luna do this for Halloween. <laughs> do you see that? I love that. So I definitely want to add this to the look to tie in with the blood on my eyes. A little triplet, a little droplet of blood on the lips. All right, now to finish off this look, I have this right here. This is my Go Get Glitter, and this is a diamond bloody choker. And I thought this would be the perfect finishing touch to this very bloody look. So this is a carefully peel the clear sticker. It's a sticker from the plastic sheet, and then do your thing. So here we have it. So if we just like, you get what I wanna go with this? Oh, oh my God. Oh, oh my God. Mm, mm, mm. Ooh, I like that. Ooh, ooh, I really like that. And that guys concludes Halloween day one, this glam vampire princess or queen makeup look with blood spatter smoky eyes. I hope you enjoyed. For a full list of every single product mentioned and used throughout this entire video, go to my description box below. As always, if you enjoyed watching this, then please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, especially if you want to see the remainder of Halloween. So put on that notification bell so you get a notification every time I upload this week and further and whenever. And um, yeah, once again, I want to thank you so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you on the next one. Bye.